Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Bert, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the continuous improvement process. What is the continuous improvement process? The continuous improvement process is an ongoing effort to improve products, services, or processes. It is a six-step systematic approach to plan, sequence and implement improvement efforts using data and elaborates on the Schuhart cycle of plan, do, study, and act. The continuous improvement process provides a common language and methodology which enables understanding of the improvement process. It always links back to each organization's own goals and priorities. The definition of continuous improvement is the act of continually looking to improve upon a process, product, or service through small incremental steps. Implementing a continuous improvement process in an organization should be standard practice now. Studies have shown the main benefits are Increased productivity Better teamwork and morale. Greater agility. Less waste. More efficiency. Increase customer satisfaction. And an increase in profit. There are four phases associated with the continuous improvement process. These phases are associated with the Schuhart cycle, which is the figure on the right. The phases are Phase 1 Plan, plan for change and identify improvement opportunities. Phase 2 Do, implement changes identified. Phase 3 Study, check to determine if the change had the desired outcome. Phase 4 Act, if successful, implement across the organization and process. There are six steps associated with the continuous improvement process. Step 1, identify improvement opportunity, select the appropriate process for improvement. Evaluate process. Select a challenge or problem. Step 2, analyze, identify and verify the root cause. Step 3. Take action, plan and implement actions that correct the root cause. Step 4, study results, confirm the actions taken to achieve the desired result. Step 5, standardize solution, ensure the improved level of performance is maintained. And finally step 6, plan for the future. Plan what is to be done with any remaining problems. Evaluate the team's effectiveness, set a target for improvement. There is no bad time to start using a continuous improvement process, but the sooner the better. Here is a list of the times I believe a continuous improvement process should be implemented. Beginning of a new project. Development of processes and procedures. Developing a new or improved product, or service. Planning data collection and analysis. Implementing any change to a process. And finally, whenever a failure occurs. Each of these events is a good reason to start a continuous improvement process. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the continuous improvement process. Please visit the webpage for more detailed information. Congratulations on finishing this tutorial and visiting ACT Notes.